We are honored and uh, privileged and a little bit flattered to be in the position we are, a position that no one thought we'd be in um, on November 5th, let alone you know, at, at previous points in the race. And what have you learned in this campaign? I've learned a lot. Uh, I think the, the first most impressive thing that I've learned that really spoke to me the most is the strength, the uh, tenacity, the initiative, and the motivation of my own family and friends, not just the ones who came in this race with me, but the ones that we've made along the way. Um, it's been amazing to see the people who show up early and stay late and are willing to suffer blisters in their shoes and sore shoulders to support the cause. Uh, the second thing that's really surprised me has been how engaged people are and motivated and inspired by just someone showing up to their door to talk to them, um, regardless of party, regardless of politics, just to know that someone is out there willing to hear the issues that they have and to put a fix to them. And the third thing I think I've really been surprised um, at some of the folks in positions of, of power, positions of authority in the city, in the state, in the county, that um, unfortunately a lot of these voices in our area have gone unheard. And that is directly a, uh, the responsibility of the folks who are already in elected office. And these public displays of cowardice that we've seen have been disappointing and really um, surprising to me because I expect folks in elected positions to be displaying these acts of courage, right? To be, to be reaching out and talking to people who need these answers, who need these solutions uh, to reach out and, and, and care about them. And the fact that I've seen the exact opposite of that has really surprised me as well. If elected, we're going to do all the things that we've been talking about doing. I'm really excited to do that. Um, the, the first thing is, is talking to some of these groups whose voices have gone unheard and take them to City Hall and say the quiet part out loud and talk about the fact that, you know, up on the, the northwest portion of our district, the trailer park up there has gone unserved and they suffer from these issues with the homeless and with drug use and with neglect from both city and county level officials. Um, you know, getting, getting the 24 registered veterans that we have in the city of Fresno off the streets and into permanent housing, um, getting transitional housing for the rest of our homeless population, uh, putting a portion of our planning department specifically under the under the auspices of being dedicated to small businesses, to, to nurture that here in the city, to making sure that our, our first responders aren't leaving as soon as they're trained to go somewhere else to get paid more, that Fresno is actually investing in the people who are keeping the citizens safe. That's what I'm gonna do if I get elected to city council. We've got a whole list of things that I'm really excited to do, um, but we're starting with the things that, that hit people the closest, that you only find out when you get out and you talk to the people and you find out what they look in their face every single day when they leave their homes. That's what we're going to do. Awesome. Anything